everyone, I'm Melanie from Melanie Golden Jewelry and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of my studio. This is my main workbench. Um, this is where I do the majority of my making. I have my bracelet mandrel here. It's really cool because it rotates. Um, I have my bench pin and my GRS equipment. Um, I just upgraded to this Heiko fume extractor. I used to have one of those little small ones, the, the bench top fume extractors, and um, it really just not was not doing the job that I needed. So I just upgraded and I'm very proud of it. <laughs> um, I like to use these little bowls to keep track of all the pieces that I'm working on. Uh, I think about these on Amazon. They're just little wooden bowls. And right now I'm working on some little stud earrings. These are going to be a part of my new collection that I'm working on. It's called the Cathedral Collection. And it's really focused on all of the ancient architecture of the, the arches of the buildings and just like the rugged texture and just all of the really pretty um, building pieces, I guess. Um, this, is, this is also part of the Cathedral Collection. This is called the Vault Necklace. <laughs> Um, this is where I do my soldering work. I have a honeycomb soldering pad here, solderite board, charcoal, third hand, um, some of my chemicals, my flux. Um, I use two different torches for my soldering work. I use the Smith little torch, which is propane and oxygen. And I also use the silversmith torch, which is just acetylene. Um, this is my kneeling pan. It's very handy because anything that rotates is very nice. <laughs> um, I cast a lot of ingots here with my recycled sterling silver scrap. Um, this is my set of rolling drawers, which I like to use to organize all of my wire and my precious metals. Um, I kind of took a tip from the Metalsmith Society, which is to organize your wire into these binder bags. Except um, I did not put them in a three ring binder because honestly I just have too much silver and it did not fit. So I like to keep it in, organized in this rolling drawer stack. Um, I have a lot of storage up here. All of my stamp work. I'll keep all, my, all of my stamps in here. All my pliers. This, all my tools and everything are kept in here. My green mandrels my flex shaft, um, this is my rolling mill, which is my baby and equipment, it's very expensive so I love it. <laughs> um, this is where I do all of my polishing work over here. I just got this new workbench set up, um, so it's actually really clean right now, but it's brand new, so. Um, I have this new set of drawers over here that I have my friend build for me. He built this from scratch. This is where I keep all of my gemstone collection. So I have all of my stones in here. This is one of my favorite drawers because it's turquoise. Um, honestly, there's just stones and stones and stones everywhere. There's so many, so. That's that. Um, this is where I hang up my aprons over here. This was something that I came up with to put in the studio. It was really handy to have it close to the workbench. I have my, my respirator, my gloves, my Metal Smith Society apron, repin, <laughs> um, more Metal Smith Society tote bags, which is what I use to take all my packages to the post office. Um, I have another workbench over here, which um, has my engraving machine, which I just got this about a year ago. And I'm really loving it so far. I need to do some more work with it. Um, I have my disc cutter, my dapping blocks, my, um, my press. Um, <laughs> uh, I also have a bathroom attached to the studio, which is where I do all of my finishing work in here. I have my tumbler, I have my pickle pot. Um, I also have a tea kettle, which I think was a Metalsmith Society suggestion as well. Um, this is where I melt my, my setting compound into a tea, um, what is this called? 
I don't know what this is called. But anyway, it melts my setting compound so that I can um, set my stones, and it's very handy to have. I love it. I, and this is where I keep my tumbler, my pickle pot. I keep that off of my workbench because it gets really messy. And over here, this is my shipping station. I like to call it the shipping nook. <laughs> Um, I have my scale to weigh my packages over here, and I have this really long workbench that I got from Uline. Um, I have a girl that helps me. Um, I have her on part-time. She works with me, and she comes and helps me package a lot of jewelry for um, that I send to Amazon for Amazon Prime. I'm on Amazon Handmade. Um, she got all this ready for me today. She's doing good work. Her name is Michaela. Uh, this is yeah, where I do all the shipping. I have all of my labels and my stickers ready to go. Um, just all my shipping stuff, my business cards, everything nearby that I need. Uh, this is sometimes where I do some finishing work and some jewelry and stuff. If you look at these boxes, these boxes have a ton of jewelry in them right now. I'm getting ready to do a shipment to Amazon. These are all ready to go with their Amazon label barcodes all set up in their poly bags. So we're getting ready to ship these to Amazon. And that's what Michaela likes to, that's what Michaela helps me do during the day when she works part time. She gets all this ready to go. Oh look, <laughs> this is Bailey. He's a studio cat. He's very needy and sweet and he's very helpful. He does a lot of work up here too. <laughs> Um, the last thing that I have to show you um, is the closet. <laughs> um, it's nothing super exciting, but I just wanted to show off this awesome closet that I have in my studio because it's where I keep all of my shipping supplies and boxes. Um, tons and tons of boxes for shipping in here. I have all of my chemicals that I need, my oxygen, my propane. I have um, my refills of flux, and I have my polishing compounds, um, just some office supplies, I have boxes and boxes of business cards, just tons and tons of stuff in here. It has a huge closet, lots of storage space, I have my bubble wrap, I have all these boxes, um, all my poly bags, anything I could need. So this is just a really cool space that I have in my studio that I'm very lucky to have. Um, I guess that's it. Thank you for joining me and I really enjoyed showing you my studio today.